well, since we're on Bernie Sanders, let's let's talk about Bernie Sanders for a minute. I was I actually was coming with some positive news for Bernie Sanders. I see there's been a lot of a, a lot of stupid stuff that has happened over the weekend um, against Bernie Sanders. Um, but you know, I, I want to share something. I had a, I had a chance to look up uh, the polls this weekend, and there's a very definitive trend with Bernie Sanders's polls that is still being ignored by the Democratic National Committee, by Hillary supporters at all, all of them, they're ignoring the fact that in a head in a face to face heads up match between Sanders and uh, Trump versus Hillary versus Trump, Bernie Sanders performs better. Now, we've been saying this for a long time, but this is the most recent from the Rasmussen. Uh, this is just a, comp a combination of polls from the CNN, ORC, Quinnipiac, Public Policy, and the Rasmussen report. Hillary Clinton does not fare as well against Donald Trump um, in, in any of the polls against, actually, let me pull up all of the Republicans, against Donald Trump, against uh, Ted Cruz, against, I mean, she just does not perform as well. If we go over to Bernie Sanders, how does Bernie Sanders perform? Bernie Sanders clearly outperforms Hillary Clinton against the front runner, Donald Trump. Now, unless, Repub unless the DNC is putting all of their money on Donald Trump not being the nominee, <clears throat> they're in for a rude awakening come the end of the primaries. That's the only the only rational thing that I could think of, and, and maybe rational is too is too kind. The only rational thing that you can think of is that they're really hedging their bet because this is not a one-time poll. This has been a consistent trend for Bernie Sanders. The consistent trend is that he will perform better against Donald Trump than Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump has shown himself to be the definitive front runner, almost a prohibitive pro front runner, because he can't say anything that's going to bring him down. That being said, there is a possibility now, there's a strong possibility. Also, side note, <clears throat> I made a prediction this summer about Marco Rubio. And I said Marco Rubio was going to be the nominee. Marco Rubio has let me down because Marco Rubio is just kind of a flake. He really doesn't have the backbone that he pretended to have. That being said, set Marco Rubio aside. Um, Donald Trump actually has a very good chance of being, of walking, waltzing into the nomination. And if he does, and he's in a head up, heads up against uh, a general election against Hillary Clinton, it's a toss of a coin versus a Bernie Sanders. There's a clear advantage of a Bernie Sanders versus a Donald Trump. So they're hedging their bet, considering they're thinking and they're betting and they're hoping and they're wishing that Donald Trump does not come out as the nominee. But if he does, Hillary Clinton does not want that is a that's any we could be facing a President Trump. Solomon from D.C., what's on your mind, man? Hey, Ben. Long time no talk. Yeah, yeah. Glad Hi. to have you on board, man. <laughs> Glad to be back. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your holiday. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, did not get sick, which is my worry. But I um, just want to call in quickly about, I'm trying to talk to Bernie Sanders about that Dana Badge interview. It yeah. is very interesting because I think CNN and the mainstream media, uh, through that interview, has found what they want to be their dean screen for him, is that they forced him to admit that he will release his tax plan before the Iowa caucus, specifically mm -hmm. after they kept pounding him through that interview over and over, whether whether his uh, Medicare for All um, plan will require uh, tax raises on the middle class and him trying to avoid that qu uh, answer, which I don't think he should have done. He should have just played and said, yes, it will. Mm -hmm. trying to avoid that because during the debate, he made the illusion that the only real tax raise he put on the middle class would be for the the 160 a month raise for um, for the family leave plan, right, um, right? And so they're going to try and use that to when he released that tax plan. And of course, uh, it shows there will be a raise in taxes for every a slight raise in taxes for both middle class and then a, it being a progressive tax, far more for the upper class. 
they're going to use this, that he's going to, that everything about him raising taxes 90% is true. Mm-hmm. He, he's completely dishonest about raising taxes. He's going to raise taxes on everybody. And it's going to be the Dean stream. You're going to see an explosion of coverage uh, for right. Bernie the last few days of the Iowa caucus. I would release it literally hours before the Iowa caucus if I was Bernie. That's because, literally you know, it, it, it really goes to show you the extent to which our media is bought and sold, just bought and purchased and owned. And they do the bidding. They We've seen, I'm saying that it should not be a surprise to any of us, as disgusting as it is, we should still report on it. We should still call it out. But when we saw Politico's emails to Hillary Clinton saying that they're only going to ask flattering questions of her daughter, you know, when you see how in bed these outlets are with the establishment, it really shouldn't be a surprise. And because of that, I I really want Bernie to be ready to bring the hammer down at any given moment. At the hammer with facts the hammer the hammer rhetorically and just really control these interviews because he when you're fighting against the machine you've got to be twice as twice as good three four five times better than everybody else so you know i I, i'm not i'm not giving i'm not talking bad about bernie but i think at this point everyone should know the fix is in and if he's going to stand a chance he's got to just he's got to bring hell he's got to bring hell to them every single time he goes on the air yeah, the subreddit has been uh, monitoring media activity uh, lately. And uh, just a little bit of side news, uh, Super Delegate, the second one so far, I think this year since New Year's, has endorsed Bernie. The right. John Vignette, who was new seat of New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Super Delegate, uh, famous for basically leading the charge of Bridgegate right. um, against Chris Christie. He just endorsed. But uh, something that happened this Sunday with, uh, they had Van Jones, who usually on CNN, yep. and you know, he was maybe see. Yeah, but he was on this week, and the subreddit noticed that he was one of the few people to say Bernie might win Iowa, or might win New Hampshire, and then look at the not just confusion, but if you watch the video, I, I I can't link it in the chat, but if you watch the video of Van Jones saying he might win Iowa and might win New Hampshire, mm-hmm. everyone if they looked frightened, if they looked <laughs> disturbed, like how could he say that, this? Not like not like surprised, like oh you're so silly, like what are you doing? Mm. And this is this is the network that's only given Bernie twenty seconds the entire year. He just let me ask you. 16. Let me ask you a quick, quick uh, housekeeping question: Have you guys ever been able to drop links inside of YouTube? Uh, not in the YouTube chat. It always says okay. you can't. Okay. All right. So we'll find a way for you guys to share some links because I definitely want. Actually, just tweet that one to me, and I'll see if I can bring it up. I will. All right. Thanks for the call, Solomon. That's my point, though. Um, my main point with Bernie Sanders is one: he's going to fair better. And I mean, H.A. Goodman has been saying this forever. Right. Um, And it's been a consistent trend for it since they've been polling these heads up general elections, general election questions that Bernie Sanders performs better against Hillary Clinton. Now, maybe this should be my segue over into the Bill Cosby conversation. And if you can follow me on this, then you're definitely part of the progressive army. We can't just because we disagree with data. We can't dismiss it as being bad data, bad science, or we don't agree with that poll, that poll is biased because of this, that poll is biased because of that. If we're gonna use that same polling data to support our candidates when it looks good,
data, Hillary supporters, if you dismiss this data just because these this polling data, just because you disagree with that data, then you have become just as bad as the Republicans who dismiss NASA data because they don't want to do anything against the, the oil industry and the fossil fuels industry and the energy sector.